evolution, innovation, sustainability. These are just a few of the many great things GREEN stands for. Air Baltic aircraft have been wearing green for years. But what if they also flew green? The thing is, they already do, thanks to the newly launched project AMBER. A combined effort from the airline, the local air navigation service provider LGS and the air traffic management experts Airbus ProSky helped turn this idea into reality. Thanks to the funding of the European Union as a part of the CESAR, the European Air Traffic Management Optimization Initiative, the ambitious project was able to be launched in fall 2012. Ember, an acronym for Arrival Modernization for Better Efficiency in Riga, is a project developed in an effort to create the new model for a modern airline and proof that efficient airline operations and being environmentally friendly don't necessarily have to be mutually exclusive. Having just completed its turboprop fleet modernization program, pioneering green turboprop operations was just a logical next step for the Latvian flag carrier. The main concept of this initiative is to shorten flight distance by using optimized arrival procedures. The newest technology, the cockpits of Bombardier Aircraft Q400 are equipped with, now allows Air Baltic to use the Latvian airspace much more efficiently, thanks to the significantly more precise satellite-guided approach navigation. It helps reduce the flight distance by cutting as much as 30 nautical miles from the approach to the airport by taking a more direct path to the runway. As simple as it sounds, major changes to the existing policies and procedures made the transition a long and complex process. Pilots, flight dispatchers and air traffic controllers spent weeks in classrooms and flight simulators retraining and preparing for the first Amber flight. Not to mention months and months of risk and safety assessments, data analysis and legal formalities. But it was all worth it. For those on the ground, it means less noise pollution. For those traveling, it means less congestion, better punctuality and smooth connections. But more importantly, reducing flight time equals fuel savings. And savings are significant enough to allow reducing CO2 emissions by up to 300 kilograms on each flight. It's equivalent to the amount of emissions an average car produces in the city traffic in two weeks. It's a win-win-win for passengers, the airport and the airline. Amber, arrival modernization for better efficiency in Riga. We're making the future. Air Baltic introduces this uh, green flying principles, combining environmental efficiency and flying efficiency. Less fuel is used, less noise is made and less emissions are produced. This is the way future civil aviation will operate. And yet again, we will be the first airline in Europe to start green flights for our turboprop aircraft. It took eight months of thorough research, testing, planning and training to turn the PowerPoint presentation that was shown at the kickoff meeting into a real amber flight. Much like resin, turning into actual amber, transforming the whole industry will not happen overnight. By becoming the first and only green turboprop fleet in Europe, both literally and figuratively, Air Baltic has given the green light to the rest of the airlines and proudly marked the beginning of a new satellite-guided era in European aviation.